Hey everyone, Canadian Slasher Cosplay here. Uh, today I'm just throwing off my leather face mask and chainsaw. <clears throat> so hopefully you enjoy. So we'll start off with the mask. Here's the my Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 latex mask. Now I made this mask from scratch. I sculpted it, I casted it, I painted it, and I haired the whole thing. So we'll get a closer look at that. I made the mask as accurate as possible. It's pretty accurate to the film, if not identical. I tried to get all of the texture correct using screen photos and screen captures. So I made tried to get the texture. I tried to get the shine of it. So that's why some textures may be more matte or more glossy, more satin. It just depends on which face or which part. I haired this hair that I glued there. <clears throat> And uh, I did the backing for it. I haired the entire thing. This is hair that I got from a party store. And it was fairly high quality. I paid a good bit for it. And then I washed it out and used some chemicals and whatnot to make it really smooth and uh, realistic. And I'll show the inside of the mask. See, it's all red and glossy and all gross. And uh, it's just on a foam head I have, but yeah, I did the leather stitching, punched leather stitching through it, it's real leather stitching, and uh, I did the stitching down here, some knots and everything, tried to figure out exactly where all the knots were and the entry points and the actual mask. I like to call it my pig mask because I think the nose looks a little bit like a pig. <laughs> and uh... I plan on selling these because I do have my uh, <clears throat> I do have my cast for it, so I plan on selling these eventually. If you're interested, you know, on uh, Instagram, you can hit me up, Canadian Slasher Cosplay. And here is my tie. It's a pretty accurate tie. I got it. I think I got it off of Etsy. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. And uh, it's. It, you know, it's a tie. It's identical to the movie, pretty much. Works well. I paid maybe 20 to 30 bucks for it. It's one of the uh, Magnoli ties. and Came here in two to three weeks. And these are my gloves. You know, they're just uh, regular leather gloves that I have. And here's the, here's the chainsaw. So, for the movie, the chainsaw that they used was pull in probably 4,400 or I think 46 or 4,800 or it could even have been a 5,200 counter vibe. So it was a counter vibe series but what I have is a pull in 3,400 counter vibe <clears throat> but it's they look pretty much identical and what they did in the movie they spray painted the top silver and then orange for the rest of it it light, could have been for licensing just like how they had to do the black electrical tape the first movie. I don't know why they did that, but this one is same series, still a counter vibe, so it's pretty much identical to the one in the movie besides a few little differences here and there, but I painted it as accurate as possible. I might go back and do some touch-ups, but as you can see, right there I had some of the original green paint showing through. I have some of it here and, and there, around here on the handle, and I've got it scratched off back here, which is accurate and similar little chips here and there and everywhere uh, a couple chips there might do a sticker here I'm pretty sure in the movie there's a sticker and it's peeled off and I yeah I rehauled the whole chainsaw buffered all the metal out to make it look more accurate clean the whole thing out the inside but um if you are I looked for a 4400 or any of those ones if you are ever planning on doing a Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 costume I highly recommend this chainsaw if you're not able to find or the other ones are if you're looking for a cheaper option because it works just as well and uh, it's accurate, you know, and they're easier to find too. I maybe paid, probably paid 120 for this running. I got it shipped here opposed to having to pay like two, three, four hundred. Sorry. Sorry, someone was coming through here on the motorcycle. Yeah, so uh, maybe 120, 130 for this one opposed to two, three hundred. Someone wanted me to pay. 700 for a 4400 
counter vibe, which uh, I'd, I'd prefer this one. It's a cheaper option. I do eventually plan on getting a more accurate one, but for now this one works well. Or even uh, pull in a uh, purple and green one. What's the name? Well, it's something purple and green. It looks pretty similar to in the bar here. It's a uh, 28 or 30 inch bar that I got. I went and picked up. I painted it to be accurate to the film. So it's got the paint sanded and scratched off here. It's got the silver sprocket tip. On the other side, I'm pretty sure I watched whoever owns the saw now. I looked at the video and there are these notches here. And that might be from uh, Lefty and Leatherface's fight in the end of the movie. Lefty on right. So I, I decided to add these ones even though I do like the radio scene. So I tried to make my costume based off of that scene. But I did like these. I thought they were a cool touch. And yeah, that's pretty much my mask and my chainsaw and the tie. Uh, I'm going to be post. I might have already. I'm going to be posting... Uh, my whole costume run around, but so far this is what I have. Alrighty, thank you for watching.